Hello, this is Jenya Holder over at JenyaHolder.com. And if you have a Facebook business page, I've got some great news for you. They just released a new feature called Create a Call to Action button, which you can have right on your Facebook page. So I'm going to walk you through it and just show you exactly how it works. So right here, like magic, it appears if you go to your page and it says, if you hover over the, uh, put your mouse right over the box, it says add a button to get people to take an action from your page, such as shop or sign up. Let's click that button. And there we go. So we can add that button right to the page and it shows you exactly what it's going to look like on the side. You can either do the shop now if you have some, if you want your people that come to your page to make an appointment with you, to contact you. If you have an a app, a mobile app or a web app, I guess you can put that um, as a call to action, play a game, shop now, sign up or watch a video. So for me right now, I'm going to book now. And the next thing you have to do is put in your website address. I'm going to go to my website and copy and paste my URL in there. Okay, so this is my uh, consultation page and just paste it in there. If you have a mobile website, of course, you can put that in there. Hit next. And then this shows you on the phone. If someone has an iPhone, this is what's going to appear. And it says to them, choose where to send people when they tap the button on an iPhone or an iPad. So if you have an app, you can have them go to the app. See so if you press that, it'll ask you for all that information. Mine, we have them going right to the website. And if you could see here, it truncates the uh, email address that, or the website address, I'm sorry, that I put in earlier. See that right there? Okay. And the next one is Android. It shows you exactly how it appears on an Android phone. Choose where to send people when they tap the button on Android. If you want it to go to website or app, same thing. And once again, it shows you the address, address that you put in there. And let's create. Voila. Okay, your call to action button is ready. It's now showing on your page and you can test or edit it here. So I want to test it because I want to make sure that I cut and paste, you know, things can happen. And it says view your results. And on the right hand side, it actually will show you for the last seven days um, how many times that button has been clicked. Okay, so you can go right back in there. So now if you see, I have a book now button there. If I want to go to the link to test to make sure that it's not broken and it takes me right to my page. There you go. Voila, it works. And if you want to go in and edit, you can do that at any time. So I'm launching my website, a uh, new website next month. And I can go in here, it's just edit the call to action. And I can go in there and change the button if I want to, to sign up at that point. Or let's say if I want to book now and I have a new page. So that's basically how you do it. All right, so once again, this is Jenya Holder over at JenyaHolder.com. If you have any questions, feel free to be, go to my Facebook page, facebook.com slash Jenya Holder, and you can leave a question in the, um, you know, post a status update, leave a comp comment for me, subscribe to the YouTube channel, or you know you can always book an appointment and book a consultation with me. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.